Hello, Bowtie Heidi 5 here. Today I'm going to talk to you about the sock garter, or sock suspender as it's also known. The sock garter has been around since the 12th century. Back then, it was an accessory used for fashion and function, made of a lacy material that looped through the sock and tied with a bow. It was used to hold up the sock around the knee before the time of pants and came in a variety of colors to coordinate with any outfit. With the invention of the trouser, they became just about extinct among men's fashion, but remained with women's fashion. It wasn't until the invention of the suspender in the 1800s and elastic around the early 1900s that they re-emerged. Once socks were worn lower, the garters were reinvented. Usually out of an elastic material, they would fit around the calf or up on the leg, and they had clips that would fasten to the sock, like this. You can see here the elastic strap around the leg, and there are two clips on each side holding the sock in place. The sock garter maintained its popularity through the 20s, 30s, and 40s, although it was never as popular as other accessories, such as the tie and belt and pocket square. Through the 50s and on, they began to lose their popularity alongside other accessories, when men started dressing more casually. And in today's times, they're hardly known or worn, if that at all. You may still see them in movies and on some TV shows, but you might not know what they are. There are two basic styles to the sock garter. The one I showed you earlier, and another, like a Y shape, that has a clasp in the front holding the sock in place. There are several pros and cons to the sock garter. One pro being that you don't have to bend over constantly and pull up your socks. Although some men do find them uncomfortable, I think it's a lot better than having to constantly fuss with your socks throughout the day. But you can be the judge of that. One of the main reasons they're hardly known today or less popular is that you don't see them in stores like you do other accessories. They can usually only be found online, and you would have to be looking for them or know what they are already to discover them. Well, that concludes my discussion on the sock garter. I hope it has been very informative for you and has inspired you to check them out for yourself.